Hudson Sawmill Charlie. Well, it's a beautiful sunny day. I'm out in the bee yard. I'm in my honey production area. Uh, most of you probably know through my Friday night bee chat at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time that I had four dead outs in my honey production area. Right here is a nuke that I had you might say it's on standby as an insurance policy for that situation i actually have three i didn't have four and i am going to take this nuke and put it in 10 frame today and also uh set it up with a single brood chamber management and also explain to you how i would use my modified demery method so we're going to go ahead and take the winter coverings off. It's been rainy and cool, cold, and it's actually going to rain for the next three days. So it's got to be done today. Today, we're going to get up around 60 degrees. Uh, the rest of uh, the next four days, I think, uh, it'll be right around the 50 degree mark in most cases. So. I think once I put the hive in the 10 frame, I'm still going to rewrap it with my carpet here. So let's go ahead and get into this hive and uh, get it unwrapped and convert it over to 10 frame. All right, I'm suited up. We're going to go ahead and get into this hive. Go ahead and take the uh, winter coverings off. Also, I have been feeding this hive with a quart jar and gave it some pollen patties several weeks ago. Hopefully, it'll build up the hive that was one to one sugar. Uh, if you don't know how to make that, it's 10 pounds of sugar and five quarts of water, makes approximately two gallons, and it stimulates the bees to make brood because it acts like it's a spring nectar source the bees are up in the top looks good off to my left here i've got my 10 frame box set up where i can hand off the frames into that box i will try to take and put the brood frames in the middle and uh any honey frames will go out on the outer edge and I also am going to put a green frame in for uh, drone brood this is a honey frame put that on the outside and we got some drone brood and some larvae and some drone on the bottom here. I'll go ahead and try to clean that off. Along with some worker brood here on, on the other side. Play off this burr comb here. If I see the queen, it's fine. If I don't, no problem. Some more fresh worker brood. We got eggs. Looks like she's doing a pretty good job of it. Put that right in the center. Some more worker brood. Gonna get rid of some of this burr comb off the top, keep it nice. Mm -hmm. eh, just some uh, nectar here. We'll put that on the outer edge for now. That pretty much takes care of that box. Go 
Go ahead and smoke them down a little bit to get all some of this burr comb. Population is fairly decent. Not busting at the seams. Of course, it hasn't been really warm. Uh, here's a nice frame of brood. Getting ready to hatch, getting darker. We'll go ahead and knock off this burr comb. Put that in the center. Here's another big, nice slab of brood. Another big nice slab of brood. And here's a nice pollen frame. I'm going to go ahead and put the green frame right there. Put my second box on. That's more of a nectar frame. Put that on the outside edge. Go ahead and smoke them down a little bit more to get rid of this burr comb. Another uh, frame of eggs, larvae, and cat brood. I'm going to go ahead and try to clean up all this burr comb here. Put that in the center. Some more brood. I've been scanning the frames. I haven't really looked hard for my queen. I really don't want to take the time. Another frame of brood. Some pollen, eggs. Go ahead and Knock his burr comb off the end here. Put that in the center. Here's a pollen frame. A little bit of brood on this side. 
put this on the edge This is more of an open frame. Now we'll go ahead and fill the rest of the hive out with some brood comb. And then we have some, uh, we'll switch spots here. Bring the hive over here in its position where they're all looking to try to get back in. And then we have the box here full of some bees on it. And that is it. As far as the nuke goes, I'm going to go ahead and put the queen excluder on. And then we're going to put a honey super on as soon as I get a white honey super box here. I'm gonna go ahead and set this up as nine frame. Kind of separate them out, space them out. Put the inner cover back on. My two little vent blocks up on top. And the lid. And we're done. Now, in this situation, because I don't really have a lot of bees in this box, and they have about five combs of empty drawn wax so she can lay in that. I left all the brood, all the cat brood down in the bottom of the box. 
so we need to get the population up I gave him a honey super hopefully she'll lay up all the cells in the bottom two boxes they won't have any place to uh, deposit any pollen for uh, maybe 10% of pollen and maybe a little bit of nectar that's ready available in the raisin brood the rest of it they'll have to put up in the honey super as time progresses and this hive gets stronger in population that's when I will take approximately half of the cap brood frames out of the bottom two boxes and I will put an additional brood box up on top and put those up here along with some frames that I want the bees to draw the wax out of so this hive will continually increase in population and because they're putting all the honey upstairs and there's a workforce that keeps increasing you're approximately going to double the amount of honey this high will normally produce so until next time please like subscribe click the notification bell share my videos with your friends and have fun with your bees